Honorable delegates, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset of our labors, skeptical voices from all sides question the value of what we were doing. As a result of our efforts, many of those voices have been stilled. The Parliament of Men may still be a dream, but in the General Assembly we have established a truly democratic forum for a free and open discussion of the great international political and economic problems of our time. No one who has followed the debates can say that there has been the slightest disposition to shirk any issue because of its controversial character or to be lacking in candor when frank speaking seemed to be necessary. Inevitably, we are living in a momentous age. The peoples of the world have suffered two disastrous wars within a single generation. They continue to live under the shadow of famine and of the atomic bomb. We must feel humble in the knowledge that untold millions throughout the world are looking with new hope to this organization which we have brought into being. It is upon our will to cooperate in solving the formidable political and economic problems which face the world that the peace and well-being of mankind depend. I will also, on behalf of the United Nations and on behalf of you all, express our deep thanks to Monsieur Spark, President of the Assembly, for the vigor, skill and fairness which he has shown in conducting our proceedings. His contribution to the success of our work has been of the utmost importance. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you all on behalf of the United Nations for your labors and wish you welcome back. Monsieur Thank you.